Hi, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about clone options in 3ds Max, which is which and what each and every one of them does. All right, so and if you stick to the end of this video, you're going to learn how to create mass scripts with which you're going to be making unique objects instance. So when you apply material to one, it applies to all of them. When you apply a modifier to one, it applies to all of them. Any type of change you make to one, others are going to inherit as well. And also I'll be showing you how to make instance object you know unique also so if things like these are things you like to see okay if things you like to learn uh, stick around don't go anywhere i'll see you when i get back all right so to begin let's first of all let's start by creating an object let's create a box all right nice so let's say to be able to get to the clone option to see the clone option you have to hold down shift you know make sure that your move tool is active hold and shift and then drag towards the uh, the direction you want to duplicate the objects to okay now you can see the clone option is out you can see we have different types for objects we have copy we have instance and we have reference we're going to be looking at them very briefly okay so right now let's start with copy okay this makes the object unique copies of themselves let's say i make this thing six now and i hit okay now if i come over here let's go to the modify tab if i change the height like so you see none of the objects are affected as you can see anyone you change they are not affected that is because i made them unique copies of this so let's look at the other one which is the instance you know clone option if i make it instance like this and i add six inside here what this means is that they are interconnected okay and even more than this more than what we have here I can apply modifier to any one of them. Apply twist modifier, like so. That means if I twist this, all of them are twisting. Can you see that? Let me delete this and apply it to any anyone, any other one I want. Okay, let's go over here. That's in twist. All right. Okay. And I twist this. They are all twisting. That is because I made it instance parameter. What happens if it is in the reference? Let's select this and let's delete it. Okay reference okay so what let's make more copies than one let's make it six as usual so what this does is that they are all just like instance parameter if you make changes to this one all of them will be going with the change all right so when you come over here you will not see anything originally but if you click on this it will come out and as you can see all of them are but then that doesn't always work and this is why i said that Let's select this and let's go over to the modifier list and then type in twist. Okay. I'll select twist and then I'll twist this. Yes, all of them are being twisted. But then if I should delete this and let's say, just like we did in the instance option, let's do twist again. But now to the middle one, let's see what happens. You see, it doesn't affect it. This is because this is not the parent object. We copied this, this um object from this which makes this the parent object so any change we make to this will affect others if you apply a different material to this it's going to affect all this one but if you do it any other one that is not this one it's not going to affect all of them it will affect only that one that's the difference between the reference and the instance parameter now let's say i'm working and then i duplicate this and i make the i made it instance and then and i make it six all right now they are interconnected all right if i adjust this they are just we have been through this before yeah, anything i do they will do so if now if i want to disconnect it from being instance i don't have to delete it and do it again which is what i usually do before i started doing this i don't have to come and dissociate them by deleting them all i have to do is select all of them go over to your modify tab you will see here you see make unique click on it and then say yes all of them are now unique okay they are not going to affect each other when you even when you apply material they are still going to be separate separate just like you want them to be now let's take it the other way around all right let's say this this thing are unique now and i want them to be interconnected once again now it is not as simple as just as what we just did which is to come over here and click on this all right make unique and they are all unique i'm going to show you how you can easily do it with a script right let's let's go ahead and write our own script inside 3ds max so to begin go over to the scripting tab menu tab and then click on it you see new script that's not what you need come over here to the mass script listener and click on it now i want you to come inside here and write instance 
one end place then replace put space add dollar another space add dollar and then bracket one bracket close all right so you can come over here and uh, in the customer user interface open it now let's head over to the toolbar and then create a new tool let's call it um you know that one is make unique let's call this one make instance all right and then hit ok just like that you have it over here now so what i want you to do is highlight this thing we just created and then drag it and drop it inside here and that's just it okay close this now take this and put it in here close this now when i select this now just let's confirm that it's still you know unique you can see it is not affecting others and others are not affected by it but when i select it and select this and click this okay you can see this one just came up to meet it okay if i select this and select this select this and select this and select in fact let me select all of them and click this now all of them are unique so if i select this and drag it up and take it up and take it down and make it fat okay you can see they are all being affected at the same time all right so that's how you can make objects to be instanced okay we have seen how to make it and if you also want to make it unique again you can just select it and click on this that makes it unique all over again okay we are back to where we started so if you are doing this all of them are going to be unique but then that's not all okay that's not all this thing does not only work with geometry okay it works with the light it works with lights it works with camera let's go ahead and create lights so we can see let's make these ones you know small and then let's move this aside so we'll be able to see the other one we created all right let's go ahead and create one more now with this script we just created okay let me go over here you can select these two things i can hit them and both of them are the same size let me select and move all right you can select these ones and then all of them and then okay and then both all of them are now the same size if i come over here and decide to like increase the radius of these okay you can see all of them are now increasing they are now instance to each other all right so let's delete the lights let's go ahead and put camera so we can see you know what i mean by that like it affects camera too okay this that this okay now let's go ahead and select this and you know show cone okay always show cone then i'll come over here and i make this one say 20 60 15 this one i'm just going to leave the way it is so if i select this and i select that and i hit this okay and then the same thing for the in fact let me select all of them select this and then select all of them and then hit okay you can see all of them are now the same thing 20 20 20 so if i come over here and adjust you can see all of them behaving as one if i do this the same thing anything you adjust for one all of them are just for each other as you can see all right so you can also customize the button by right clicking and then you see edit button appearance i'm going to set it to text i'm going to add a label to it i'm going to call it make instance like so and i'm going to say okay now you can see our button is now named make instance just like these other ones here all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like and if you're new to this channel, if this is the first video you're watching on this channel, consider subscribing. We have videos like this, you know, all over the channel. We have full courses and tutorials as well. All right. So not only subscribing, you can also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.